Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this abstract bokeh wallpaper using Procreate for iPad. This is really beginner friendly tutorial so everybody can do it. Just follow those simple steps. We are here in the program. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I like to see my canvas. Let's fill this with color. So I just drag and drop a color to fill the whole layer, just like that. All right, we need a new layer. So open the layer panel and click the plus. This way we will get a new blank layer. I will select a next color for this new layer. I want to create some kind of gradient between those two. So again, drag and drop. Now we got two layers filled with colors. We want to modify the layer at the top. So let's transform this layer. So it's not, will not cover the whole area. So now I'm transforming the layer at the top. You can drag it down. You can also drag those nodes separately. So I can drag one up and one down to make it more like diagonal thing. All right, something like this should be all right. Okay, now we're going to merge those two layers into one layer. So they will be on one layer. Open your layer panel and then we can simply click merge down. So the layer at the top will merge into the layer below. Let's use a Gaussian blur to make this transition smoother. So applying Gaussian blur and move my Apple Pencil to the right to make the effect stronger or to the left to make it weaker. All right, so we blur those two colors nicely to get some kind of gradient-like backdrop for our abstract wallpaper. Next step, a new layer. We need a lighter color, lighter than we used before, almost white, you can say. And now for the brush, we using the ready to use bokeh brush over here with the light brushes. All right, so it's here. I can only, I would just want to add extra spacing. All right, just a little bit extra spacing will do. And now we can use our pencil to draw a backdrop layer like that. All right, just a little bit here and there. It's more like abstract, so feel free to play with it. All right, I'm going to blur this layer as well. All right, so the first layer with the brush, we're going to blur it as well. So this it will be like this very soft feel to it. So we want to select this layer and also apply the Gaussian blur on it as well. And now you can move to the right to blur it. All right, we want this one to be nice and soft. And of course, we can also play with some blending modes for this layer. So if you click on N, standing for normal blending mode, you can see there are different blending modes here. You can also reduce opacity using the slider there. So feel free to reduce opacity slightly. And you can also change the blending mode to maybe screen or lighten. Depends on the colors of your choice. Let's go with the screen in my case and reduce opacity. All right, so that's more like a backdrop texture. And now it's time for brand new layer and the main texture here. So again, I'm using exactly the same brush, very light color, almost white, you could say, a little bit bigger this time. And this will be our main bokeh here. All right, a little bit here and there. Try to make it randomly, all right? Cool. And now I will modify the color slightly and I will use a little bit smaller brush. So we got more random result, you could say, and reduce opacity slightly as well. All right, here and there, we are almost done. If you are not happy with the result, you can tap with two fingers to undo and just try again. That's normal. You can undo and try again. Just tap with two fingers to undo. 
All right, for this layer, we can also play with opacity and blending modes to modify this to your needs. You want this to be really strong or maybe lighter with reduced opacity, that's up to you. If you go with overlay, it, overlay, it will be really light, hard light, much stronger. So that's also a good chance to play with different blending modes to learn more about them. All right, that's a really nice abstract wallpaper here. I'm really happy with results and I'm going to export this as a JPEG. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.